Hello, this is Stamp Around UK Video Hop. My name's Esther with Stampin' Star Creations. This month's theme is to use the in colours, so I've got my alcohol out. I can't pronounce it, so don't ask me how. And I've got my heat tool, my blend pens, and some vellum that I'm going to start colouring in, and I've got my aqua brushes. So if you've not seen this technique before, I'm just laying down some colour with my Stampin' Blends in the in colours. So we've got Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, coming in with some Tahitian Tide and I've got some uh, pool, uh, what's it called Parakeet Party and some Sweet Sorbet going on. So lots of bigger dots going on this piece of vellum. It's just a piece of scrap vellum I had in my stash. Coming in now with some uh, this 99.9% I think alcohol and going in quite tentatively initially but <laughs> it doesn't really make much of a difference. So I come in a bit stronger with the alcohol and realise actually it's not enough alcohol and the circles need to be a bit bigger. So I've coloured them in some more and I found the best technique for this is to maybe just, um, you can, well there's different ways of doing this, but I wanted it to look like more like rosettes, not like those big splodges you see there. I've got my heat tool on hand to help dry the alcohol really quickly and this helps to leave a mark on the page. By swirling the alcohol onto the blend mark, it tends to leave you more of a rose look to it, which is what I was aiming for. So I carry on with this swirly effect and this works out a lot better. I have my heat set quite high. Again, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but you know, I'm just going for it and enjoying the creativity. So instantly putting on that heat and it should help to dry it. So just mark making and just seeing where this goes. Each one is slightly different. You can't predict how or quite, uh, I say why, how or why. <laughs> you can't quite predict how it's going to turn out. So you just go with the flow. You can add in extra alcohol and this will come back and you can just help spread out that colour a bit more. Bringing in the artistically inked stamp set, for those bigger blobs that didn't quite turn out, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could just stamp over them. So it gives the impression of the fact that it's had alcohol ink on them when it hasn't. So coming in with my Starry Sky ink, and I'm going over the blobs that didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. And true enough, it, it did work. But then I thought, oh, I'm just going to add some alcohol to break down that the raw edges of the stamped image. But forgetting that you're ink is made up of different properties so it's not going to kind of um, blur in the same way but anyway it kind of still worked. Using this framed die I forgot well I sort of remembered it was a frame but um, it cut out the frame and the middle and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use it but also wanted to incorporate dragonflies so I did both I cut out the frame and I cut the dragonflies then I thought it might be nice if the dragonflies actually fitted in the frame so I'm getting my greenery dye here and running it through and I've got a bit of blob of card on there that we don't want on there, get off. And um, I'm experimenting with framing and using the dragonflies. Now the whole idea of this is trying to get the dragonflies coming out of that same colour of the wings. So it looked as if it was kind of dipped in the paint and then it flew off. Uh, that's my story and I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> Then I thought it looks a bit plain, what can I do? So bringing in my blending brushes, I'm just marking out roughly where I need to lay down the colour to coordinate with the colour on the frame. So where I marked, I'm just coming in with my blending brushes in the various colours and just brushing around the edges and blending the colour when they're next to each other. So that lovely um, blues and the greens can blend and the blues can blend together. And by doing this on top of the embossing, it worked really well and I really liked the effect it was making. So coming in here with this sweet sorbet, it doesn't go too brown either. It kind of goes a nice purpley colour. Well, it wouldn't go brown. And then bringing in the frame to add on top and that seems to work really well. So you've got the blend of the colour of the card and of the frame. And then just trying to do a bit like a jigsaw, trying to fit in where best my dragonflies would go. So once I was happy with that, I now needed to think about working on a 
sentiment to go with it. So this is my new embossing tool and I'm bringing in the Hello Beautiful stamp set for my sentiment and I'm using this tray and I'm just going to rub my embossing uh, pal or embossing buddy over it. I think they've called it an embossing pal. Anyway, so this takes away any static and then you can just use your really fancy amazing tweezers and uh, that holds onto your project. Tap in, tap away the excess. You just got to unscrew uh, the lid that goes on the end there using my special brush that also comes with the tool. That's brilliant. Anyway, so just be careful when you come to heat. Mind the ends of ceramic on the tweezers and they get very hot. So coming in with the matching dies, beautiful dies, I cut out the sentiment and I'm using the stamp and seal to lay down some glue on the frame and this means I can stick it down without seeing any glue which is perfect for the project and then just positioning my dragonflies back to where they need to go again using the stamp and seal. Then adding some dimension to the sentiment. This calls for a celebration because I thought the colours are lovely and bright. And then just coming in with these fabulous in colour dots and just trying to stick them roughly where the same colour is, spreading the love with all the different and lovely in colours. So big dots, little dots. And oh, he's jumped. Where am I going to put that one? Stick him there. And adding a sweet sorbet one. And who can resist some splatter? So getting my blender pens in all the various colours and giving it a good old splatterage around the card. And there you go. I think it's ended up really kind of artsy and fun and bright and vibrant, just like me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's card. Thank you so much for watching along. I always appreciate thumbs up and they're free. And you can leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's card. Please don't forget to check out the other people in the blog, the, 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 the vlog, and go and check out their creation. And hop along. Keep on hopping. Take care and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.